Hello everyone and welcome to day six of my 30 day tidying challenge. This is a challenge that I created based on Marie Kondo's The Life Changing Magic of Tidying Up. I want to mention once again that I did record these videos two years ago when I initially did the tidying challenge and I'm just popping back on to provide some updates. For this video, we're going to jump right into the day six footage from two years ago and I'll be back after to provide a little update. Day six is actually the last day I've allotted for the entire clothing bucket and today we're going to be going through shoes, boots, and slippers. Similar to many subsets of the overall clothing category, I've gone through my shoes quite a few times. A number of years ago, I filmed a vlog containing a big shoe declutter. This was probably close to the height of my shoe collection and I just had so many pairs of shoes. We are not going to be putting shoes on the couch behind me today. Instead, we are going to have a change of scenery and I'm going to go back to my kitchen where I did my initial shoe declutter. Here are all the shoes that are left in my collection. I had to pile shoes upon shoes upon shoes upon shoes because I didn't realize I had this many pairs. I had them all squirreled away in different areas of the condo and now taking them out and seeing them all, I'm just um, overwhelmed by the excess. So now let's get tidying and hopefully we can pare this down a little bit. I'm really pleased with the way the tidying went today. It was one of those days where I was able to downsize my collection by quite a bit because I was able to hone in on what sparked joy. Maybe because I'm working that muscle a little bit more, it's getting stronger, but definitely the strategy that I used yesterday for jewelry also worked for shoes. So instead of touching each item sequentially or picking out the things I wanted to discard, I went through and I picked out the things that I was sure sparked joy. In the end, I was left with maybe 10 or so pairs of shoes that I knew didn't spark joy and I couldn't bring myself to pick them up and store them with the rest of my belongings that do in fact spark joy. So there was kind of a clear divide today between the wants and the do not wants. I made sure to do what Marie Kondo suggests when you're letting go of an item. If you've worn the item a lot, you can thank it for its good service, for your ability to have used it for so long, and to have served you well. If it's an item that you've only worn a few times, or an item that you haven't worn at all, you can thank the item for showing you that this particular style, or whatever it is about that item, just didn't suit your tastes. So you can thank the item for teaching you that lesson, and then you can let it go. This is such an important frame of mind to have, because a lot of us feel a lot of guilt when we come across an item that maybe still has the tags on it or that you bought with the intention of wearing but you just never reach for it to let that item go stirs up a lot of emotion in us perhaps emotions of regret of hard-earned money being wasted but letting that item go really is the best course of action because you can go ahead then and move on if you keep that item in your collection even if you have it stored away every time you see that item it's going to bring back those negative emotions and your home should be filled with items that spark joy not items that conjure up feelings of guilt negativity wastefulness etc etc Marie Kondo talks about displaying your shoes in a shoe rack or perhaps placing them in boxes and storing them in that way. While I don't have many shoe boxes left in my collection, Marie Kondo talks about storing more than one pair of shoes in a box where possible. I did put everything back into a mishmash of different areas in the condo, but I was pleasantly surprised by how much space there is for me to store my things. And I'm feeling much more at ease that everything will find its own home and like items will be stored together by the end of the 30 day journey. That is going to be it for today's video. Again, please let me know down below how you're doing with the tidying process, if you're following along, or if you're watching these videos at the moment but planning to come back to them down the road. It feels like we went through the overall clothing category really quickly. It has only been six days, but I feel like we've made a lot of headway already, and I'm feeling really good about the items that I'm keeping in my collection, as well as the items that I'm letting go of. 
That is going to be it for the day six footage. As promised, I am back with an update and I wanted to mention that I did save two pairs of shoes following this declutter. So instead of letting go of 11 pairs of shoes, I ended up letting go of nine pairs. The shoes in question were one pair of Birkenstocks and the other were my pair of Stan Smiths. And I had set them aside to try to resell them, but I never got around to listing them. And eventually I just, kept seeing them and I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna wear them because if I were to sell them, I wouldn't get that much for them anyway. So I thought, why not just put them to use? So I started wearing them instead and I have decided to go ahead and keep them. So I still have them in my collection to this day. And I actually wore the Stan Smiths today when I went out for a brief walk. In terms of storage, I am storing my shoes still in approximately two locations in the condo. I have most of my athletic shoes and boots in the hall closet. And then in the bedroom, I've got a bunch of high heels and other kind of like dressier shoes stored both under the bed. And also I keep a few pairs in the hall closet. That being said, I haven't worn any of my dressy shoes since COVID began. And indeed, I haven't worn heels at all in over a year now. Maybe it is time to go through my shoe collection again and let go of a few pairs of high heels at least. But um, right now they're kind of just out of sight, out of mind. And I think I will wait until after the pandemic to see if I do end up reaching for some of these dressier shoes. That is going to be it for day six of my 30 day tidying challenge. I'll be back tomorrow with day seven. Until then, please take care and bye for now.